Hi, so in this video we're going to cover when you need to void um, purchase invoices or bills on Xero. Now this might happen where, for example, you buy something on a pro forma basis. So the supplier will send you a pro forma invoice that you pay and then you'll receive a VAT invoice afterwards. So in effect, the invoice is on the software twice. The other times that this happens with us sometimes is when clients are set up repeating bills on zero and then the bill also comes from receipt bank and the cost is in zero twice. So on these occasions you do need to avoid the duplicated um, invoices. So if we just start on the dashboard, if we go into business and bills to pay, what you need to do is open up the um, invoice that you want to void. So, for example, we'll do this Bay ho ho Wholesale, losing my tongue today. Um, and what you can do is in Bill Options, just click Void. And what that does is that removes the invoice off the system. Now, for example, if you've had a pro forma invoice and you've allocated a payment to it, it's ideally the pro forma invoice that you need to delete. So what you'll have to do here is if you go back into um, awaiting payment on your bills, um, if we go to all, what you need to do here is, for example, if this Gateway Motors is the wrong um, wrong invoice. You need to click into the payments, options, remove and reduce. So what that will do is it will take the payment off the invoice and put it back in the reconciliation screen. And then you just want to void the bill as you did before. Um, I'm not going to do that in this case. And then what you need to do then is if you go into um, accounting bank accounts, and reconcile. You then need to go back in and reconcile the invoice off of the um, reconcile the payment against the invoice. If that makes sense. Any questions? Give us a shout, and that is how you avoid an invoice.